Rodney, I know you're not getting back on. Sir, stop. Get off. Now. Right now. Um, hello? Yeah, it's after hours. It's freak hours. It's time for us to go. I can't believe Rodney dragged me all the way out here into the jungle. Do I look like I belong in the jungle? Is he out of his mind? I have half a mind to push him off a cliff or something. Oh, is that a snake? Oh, no. I know you lying to me. <gasps> Rodney is poisoned? And in a lot of pain? Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, Rodney. Why did I do that to you? I'm so sorry. If you don't come follow this man. <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? Stop. Saya seems to have unexpected visitors. <laughs> oh my god. Saya, go ahead and flirt with this man for all time's sake. Look at him. He's about to throw up. <gasps> oh. He just vomited. Okay, maybe we shouldn't flirt with him. Maybe we should just stay over here. <laughs>up y'all welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome in if you are new here my name is ashley if you are returning welcome back friend today i am bringing you the 14th episode of the black widow challenge lp and y'all i cannot believe we are on episode 14 and only on victim number three this is crazy we really gotta get the ball rolling if you haven't watched a previous episode, as always, I'm going to recommend that you go back and watch before watching this one. To my friends who have watched the previous episode, it is the next day after we got our proposal from Rodney. So obviously, last night, Saya stayed at his apartment, so she still has on the same clothes she had on yesterday. I know y'all are like, Saya, girl, what are you doing with that knife? <laughs> so she is up very, very early this morning, making breakfast for Rodney because today is supposed to be a special day. We got our proposal, finally. Now that we got our proposal, the job is only half done. We have to actually get married. And y'all know Saya don't wanna wait to get married. So she's making a nice breakfast this morning to make sure that when she lays it on Rodney to let him know that she wants to elope, that he has no issue with this plan. <laughs> so Rodney is actually still sleeping saya really knocked him out last night if you know what i mean girl what did you put did she just put the breakfast in the fridge yeah she did let's put this out girl why look like that it says the condition is normal but child that looks poor to me she made some baked avocado and eggs hopefully rodney likes it so that way when saya lets him know that she wants to up today he will be more than happy to and it's the way this man do not have a TV or nothing to keep us occupied while we wait for him to wake up. <laughs> Saya, you can come over here and go on the computer. While Rodney is sleeping, I guess we can entertain ourselves this way. Um, I think I'm going to have her socialize and maybe let's find a pen pal. Who knows? Maybe we can find our next victim this way. It's the computer moving for me. Like, why is it moving like that? <laughs> All right, so she posted on pen pal forums. Now we have to wait and see if anyone responds. Hopefully we get some good pics. Someone that Saya can manipulate into loving her and giving her another proposal. <laughs> I really wish Rodney would hurry up and wake up because we are hungry. We're waiting on him to wake up so we can eat together. But child, if Saya get too hungry, I'm just gonna have her go ahead and eat. All right, y'all, I think Rodney is up, finally. It looks like he's hungry, too, which is perfect. Y'all know the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> so, Saya, come over here and let's call Tamil. Let's get off this man's computer. It's time for us to do work. We got to persuade him to elope today. Teru, and hopefully he likes it, because I'm not going to lie, that don't look too appetizing to me. <laughs> I don't think he want to eat it, y'all. He did not grab a serving. Ronnie, are you not hungry? Why you can't grab a serving? Grab a serving. He like, I don't know. This don't look too great. 
Okay, perfect. He got his food. All right, Saya, now it's showtime, girl. Let's let him know that we are so happy that we are finally engaged, but we cannot wait to get married. So we should just do it today at the courthouse. I was like, I know I told you about me wanting the whole fairy tale wedding and whatnot, but you know, I feel like we should just go ahead and just elope today. I don't really need the fairy tale wedding. All that matters is we love each other and we don't really need anyone else's approval. What you think about that, Rodney? Let's go to Tartosa and elope today. Ronnie, how you feeling about that? What you think about this? He's real quiet, so I don't know. I can't gauge his reaction. And Saya's just talking his ear off. Look at her. She, she's, she's investigating. She's like, is he going for it? I don't really know. He's not giving me too much. <laughs> She's like, let me flirt a little bit more. Maybe this will work. And it's her talking about money when the man already looks like he's apprehensive. <laughs> All right, it took him a little bit of time, but it looks like he's coming around. It seemed like at first he wasn't going for it, but you know, now it's looking like he's on board with the idea of eloping today. Ty is still trying to make sure he feels secure in this decision that he's making right now. And it looks like he's fine with it. So I think we should just go to Tartosa today and get married. Oh. Yeah, that just sealed the deal. That right there tells us that we are eloping today. All right, I'm going to have Saya go in Rodney's bathroom and take a shower. And then once she gets ready, we can then make our way to Tartosa to go ahead and elope. Cause she still got the funk on her from last night. Sis is wearing the same clothes. Girl, Saya, that is not cute. <laughs> it's definitely giving the morning after. And look at Rodney over here just cheesing. He's so happy. Poor things don't even know what's about to come. Saya, not you put this on to go get married. <laughs> you can at least look like you're trying. Let's see, what do we have that we can put on? Child, we really ain't got much, to be honest. I forgot to give her some new outfits. So I'm just going to have her put on the same thing she had on last night. We just going to have to go with that. All right, Rodney, are you ready, sir? He in there waiting for Sire to get ready. He's still in here cheesing, though. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and let's get ready to go elope in Tartosa. All right, y'all, we have made it. Look at them two running to the altar. <laughs> And it is very gloomy outside, but I ain't gonna lie, it's very fitting for what's about to happen. So let's come in here. Wait, what? Opens at 9 a.m.? Dang, we here mad early. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not trying to waste no time. Girl, you gotta wait until the courthouse opens. <laughs> All right, we only got like five more minutes. And look at Rodney over here, gearing himself up to go say his vows. The man's a little bit nervous, and he has every right to be nervous right now. All right, perfect. It is now 9 o'clock. We can now come in here and get married to Rodney. Rodney, it's been fun. GG's, my friend. GG's. I feel so bad because he's such a sweetheart, but... I gotta do what she gotta do to survive, unfortunately. This poor man don't know what's about to hit him. Oh! <gasps> Y'all, we did it. We're married again. <laughs> Moving in together. Click OK to split from households and move. So y'all already know we have a baby. We have a dog. There's no way we can fit in Rodney's small apartment. So Rodney, he's probably going to have a hard time parting with his apartment, I'm sure, because it had so much character and it looks like it's something that's very, very sentimental to him. But he's going to have to move in with us. And he has $53,256? What? Oh my God, what? That is way more than what we got from Ian and Kai. Actually, that's way more than we got from them combined together. Okay, Rodney. I really lucked up with this one. <laughs> that puts us up to $130,600. That's insane. Wait, can we get more money if we sell all lot furnishings? Let's see. 
no it's still the same <laughs> whatever i'll take it Saya, you are married again girl what's wrong she on her period child this is the worst time to be cramping y'all i just realized i had the incorrect g shade on so if my game looks a little bit different i changed it back to the one i usually use normally um so we finally got married Saya, can you give rodney a kiss we still got to pretend that we're still into him. <laughs> Even though we got what we wanted already. So I was like, now that we're married, I think we should go on a little honeymoon. What you think, Rodney? Rodney's like, of course, we got to go celebrate. So I was like, I was thinking we can go somewhere sunny and warm. Somewhere we can have fun, but also relax at the same time. Maybe we can go to like Solani. Rodney's like, I don't know, Zaya. I always go to Salani. I was thinking maybe we can go somewhere that, you know, neither one of us has been. Maybe we can go to Salvadorada. I think it'll be fun. We can relax and also do some adventurous things. I've always wanted to explore the jungle out there and get to know the culture a little bit. What you think? Y'all, look at her. She is not too pleased. Y'all know Saya and the jungle is not going to be a good mix. Oh, she's like, the jungle? You want me to go to the jungle where there's dirt, bugs, and all that? Yeah, I don't know about that, Rodney. <laughs> that don't sound too romantic to me. I'm trying to have a good time, not be stressed out. Rodney's like, it's going to be all right, Saya. Nothing's going to happen to you with me around. She's like, yeah, all right, I guess. <laughs> Whether Saya likes it or not, she knows she got to go on this trip to keep Rodney happy so he don't suspect anything. <laughs> All right, so we need to go pack our clothes, get ourselves ready to go hang out in the jungle. So let's go ahead and do that, and we can meet Rodney in Selva Dorada. All right, y'all, we have made it to Selva Dorada, to our destination. Child, who is this crazy-looking lady, and why is she here? So it says, welcome to the jungle, Saya. Some handy adventure items have been added to your inventory as a part of your rental package. If you plan on exploring the Bellamisia jungle, you should first stop by the Porto Lamonte marketplace to pick up more gear. All right, so we got to figure out where that is and pick up some gear because our boo said he wanted to explore the jungle. Anyways, this is where we are going to be staying. Saya is going through it right now because the poor girl has her period. And not to mention, she's also not too thrilled to be in the jungle right now. However, she is kind of impressed by this little villa that Rodney rented. So let me go ahead and give you guys a little tour. I did end up downloading this off the gallery, so there is no CC on this lot. If I can remember who I downloaded it from, I'll place it somewhere on the screen. So as you enter, this is what it looks like. I think it's so cute. And for this to be a CC-free lot, they really did their thing on this. So here is the kitchen. Here is the living room. Over here is a little dining area. And then in the corner, I believe we have a bathroom. How freaking cute is this bathroom? I love it. It's so nice. So as you go out of the bathroom, on the right side, we do have a pool and we also have an outdoor seating area. So if Saya wants to come and chill out here, she can. The view might not be <laughs> what Saya wants, but I mean, it's a view nonetheless. <laughs> so as you go up the stairs through this first door, this is a bedroom. This is so cute. So the bed is in the corner. They have a view of the jungle from here. <laughs> and then on this side is a little seating area with all these glass windows. And then they got this little bookcase over here. So if Saya or Rodney wants to come and read something, they can. And look at the view of the waterfall. I think it's so cute. 10 out of 10. So around the corner, we do have another bedroom and I believe a bathroom, not sure which is which. Let's go in this one first. So this one is the second bedroom. I love this. And then through here is a bathroom. This is fire, straight fire. And then the next room is a bathroom. So I think it's pretty cute. Y'all know Saya is not too thrilled about being in the jungle, but at least Rodney chose a very, very nice villa. All right, I think it's time for us to go inside and get settled and make ourselves at home because we are gonna be here for a while. Saya needs to go use the bathroom, so let's go ahead and do that. And y'all, I also think that we need to call DeAndre because we're on this vacation for about three days and you know the man is gonna get suspicious. He already feels some type of way about Saya, so she's going to have to call him and make an excuse as to why she's not around and why Grayson is in daycare. 
Well, Saya, after you use the bathroom, I think it's in our best interest to call up DeAndre and give him some excuse as to where we are for three days straight. <laughs> all right, perfect. She's all done. Rodney, what you doing? He about to go watch TV. All right, Saya, we got to make this quick because we can't go missing too long because Rodney's going to start to look for us. So let's hurry up, wash these hands. Yes, girl, I know. I know. <laughs> Before you go watch TV, let's go ahead and call up DeAndre. Right now. Uh, I was like, hey, DeAndre, just giving you a call because I haven't seen you in a while and I miss you. I just wanted to let you know that I'm on a little mini vacation. I had to go see my grandmother in Salva Dorada. DeAndre's like, I didn't know you had a grandmother that lives in Salva Dorada. I was like, yeah, I told you, you don't remember. He's like, I thought you told me you didn't talk to your family. She's like, that much is true, but you know, me and my grandmother recently reconciled. She's getting older, so life is too short to be holding grudges. So I'm here just trying to spend some time with her for three days. DeAndre's like, so where's Grayson? He's like, Grayson is okay, he's in daycare. DeAndre's like, why you didn't bring Grayson with you? I was like, well, there's a few vaccines he hasn't gotten yet, so I didn't think it was wise to take him to another country. You're the one who taught me that, you know. DeAndre's like, yeah, that makes sense. Well, Saya, I miss you, and I cannot wait to see you when you return in three days. I hope you and your grandmother have a really, really good time. I hope that you stay safe, and I love you. And Saya's like, I love you too, DeAndre. All right, perfect. Conversation with DeAndre done. Hopefully, Rodney did not hear anything. Child, what is he watching? Why is it so pixelated? I can't even tell. Saya, you can come and study sit next to Rodney whatever it is he is enjoying it <laughs> let's also talk to him a little bit maybe we can kind of convince him to not want to go to the jungle <laughs> let's go ahead and pretend to care saya go ahead and have a deep conversation with ronnie child now she's talking about tombstones saya's like ronnie you sure you want to go to the jungle i don't know if we both gonna make it out alive <laughs> Ronnie's like, Saya, you crazy. I told you, as long as you with me, I'm not going to let nothing happen to you. If you love me, you'll trust me. And it's her trying to flirt her way out of this. She like, you sure you don't want to just stay here and woohoo for three days straight? <laughs> She's like, I promise I'll make it worthwhile. Just don't make me go to the jungle with the dirt and the bugs. <laughs> Ronnie's like, woohoo sounds cool, but... Ciao, What? I think they are watching The Evil Dead Rise. Child, that movie sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, Saya girl, I don't think you're getting out of this too easy. So we're just going to have to roll with the punches and go with it. Ronnie's like, remember, Saya, I wanted to come out here and learn about the culture a little bit, in addition to wanting to explore the jungle. So I figured we can go to the bar and get to know the locals a little bit, and maybe they can tell us a little bit about the jungle before we go and explore it tomorrow. And look at Saya, she act like she is on board for this whole thing. Meanwhile, on the inside, she is dying. So y'all, I'm wondering if we should go to the bar now to speak to the locals about the jungle, or if we should wait a little while because it's only 1.30. Um, let's see how our needs are looking. So Saya is a little bit hungry. She's also tired. Rodney. He's about to be starving. He also needs to take a shower and he's a little sleepy and he has to use the bathroom. So we should take care of our needs first and then we can go and head out to the bar. So Rodney, I'm gonna actually have you grab a little quick snack. He can go ahead and grab some cheese and crackers. Um, Saya, I'm gonna have you do the same. Let's go ahead and grab a quick snack. She can grab some chips. And then we can take a little quick nap before we head out to the bar. How did we get on baby boy? Wasn't they just watching the evil dead? I'm so confused. Who changed the channel? <laughs> Let me turn this way before I get copyrighted. Saya, how you feeling, girl? We not getting out of this jungle trip. <laughs> I feel like she want to text her friends so bad about where she is. But remember, Saya, 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 
Anyways, I don't know if y'all remember, but Saya is now starting to keep her relationships under wraps and a secret from her friends because she don't want them to start suspecting anything. So now that they both finished their snacks, I'm going to actually send them to bed to take a little nap. And then after we take a nap, we can then head out to the bar to speak to the locals about the jungle. So I will probably see you guys once they wake up. All right, y'all, they are both knocked out cold. They had a long day of getting married, traveling, so this nap was very much needed. And I don't know about Saya, but I think this is such a nice little vibe. They're in this nice little modern villa in the middle of the jungle, and it's raining outside. I think it's cute. And I feel like the rain gives it like a nice little relaxing touch. Stop the press. Look. <laughs> Look at Saya's thought bubble. I don't even have to say it. But I'm going to let y'all do with that information what you will. We can already tell who our girl is really missing while she's on this trip. <laughs> All right, we done got our nap out. Um, I think we should be pretty good. So I think we can head over to the bar. Um, yeah, so our knees are in pretty decent shape. Let's see how Rodney is doing. Chow, he needs a shower and use the bathroom. I'm going to let him do that. And then we can head over to the bar. All right, he's all done. Let's go ahead and head out to the bar. All right, y'all, we have made it to the bar. Ciao, Rodney. Rodney. I'm weak. Hold on. <laughs> he did not just get on this mechanical bowl. Oh, Rodney. <laughs> Stop it. He is having too much fun. Saya, go over there and watch Rodney, please. I know Saya is like, I had no idea this man was this adventurous. Why did he come over here and get on this mechanical bowl? I'm crying. <laughs> oh my God. So I was like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> oh, Rodney. Child, if he busts his behind on this bull, I swear to God. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> and Saya's standing here pretending like she do not know this man. <laughs> when is it going to be over? Oh, oh my God. Bro, what? Oh, did he just fall? I'm dead. <laughs> Rodney, I know you're not getting back on. Sir, stop. Get off. Now. Right now. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm so confused. Why did he just get on his ball? We supposed to be going inside and talking to the locals. Why did you do this? Oh, Taya's like, not the bugs, bro. And she dizzy. What's going on? Child, Saya and the jungle do not get along. Hillary is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Oh, my God. No, we can't. But we also cannot tell her we're on this vacation. We're just going to have to cancel and talk to Hillary another time. Child, look at these two. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The bugs. The bugs. <laughs> Rodney's like, Saya, I think you should get on the mechanical bull. It was really fun, and I think you might enjoy it. Saya's like, I really don't think that's up my alley. I'm not really the adventurous type. I'm more of the go to the spa and chill out type. <laughs> Rodney's like, come on, Saya, you gotta live a little. You only live once, so you should definitely give it a try. Don't knock it until you try it. You gotta experience new things and do things outside of the box sometimes. Is she gonna do it? Oh, now he gave her a kiss for good luck. Saya, you really about to get on this bull? I know you lying to me. Y'all, she doing this by herself. Oh, Saya. Oh, Saya, please, please do not. Do not hurt yourself. Wait, hold on. Wait, but why is she actually low-key kind of good at this? I cannot believe she got on this thing. Hold on, y'all. I got to get a screenshot. 
Y'all, is Rodney cheering her on for me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Nah, she smacked the ball. Stop it. She's like, I'm never doing that again. All right, we really gotta stop lollygagging for real and go inside and talk to these locals. Where is Rodney? He already inside. I wonder if he started talking to people yet. I'm gonna have him come over here and order drinks for the group. Um, They can do, let's see. Let's do some coquito. Saya, where are you going? What you going to pick up? Are you out here picking up garbage? Oh, she just wanted to gripe about it. <laughs> I thought she was actually going to pick it up. All right, so we need to talk to some locals about the jungle. Y'all, why is Taya sick? What's going on? Is it because of her period? Let's see. Who look like they live here? This man over here looks like he is a local. Look at him. What is this dance called? I forget. Let's come over here and introduce ourselves to Lewis. Let's do a howdy introduction. Saya, did you get your drink? Rodney over here having a time of his life. This man literally could not wait to get to the jungle. All right, Saya, did you introduce yourself to this man? And he feeling flirty too? Hold on, do he need to be our next husband? Not the bugs, child. Y'all, the mechanical bull in the back is sending me. Let's go ahead and be a little bit charming. Let's tell a funny story. Let's get to know Lewis a little bit. Look at this man flirting with Saya, talking about money. Uh-oh. So Lewis shows signs of the sinister personality type. I don't know. Do we want somebody that's like us? Louis, do you know anything about this jungle we're supposed to be exploring? I don't know if he's a local, y'all. I think we should go around and try to introduce ourselves to more people and see who's a local, because I don't think Louis is a local. All right, so we've introduced ourselves to Juliana and also Princeton. I believe they both are locals, so we can now ask them about the jungle. So let's go ahead and discuss local heritage. And let's learn a little bit about the culture. All right, so we have acquired the self Doradian skill, which is gonna help us when we explore the jungle tomorrow. Ciao, Juliana, calm down. Why are you so angry? We need to find out as much as we can about this jungle so we can survive this experience. So let's go ahead and ask about the jungle. Shorty behind us is really getting it. <laughs> All right, so Juliana said she advised carrying a machete if you plan to explore deep into the jungle. Nothing is better at cutting through the undergrowth. Oh, y'all, I'm nervous. We need a whole machete to get through the jungle? All right, so it turns out that Lewis is actually a local as well. So let's also ask him about the jungle. We're already level two in our Salvadoradian skills, so hopefully this works out tomorrow. Child, what's she wearing? All right, so he told us the same thing. He advised carrying a machete if we plan to explore the jungle. Rodney, my friend, I hope you are taking all of this in because you are the head of this trip, so you need to make sure that we make it out alive. <laughs> all right, so I think we've done enough research here at the bar. Child, what is Rodney doing? He over here playing rock, paper, scissors with this local. Let me find out he really belong in the jungle for real. He is in his element. <laughs> All right, Saya, how we doing? Have you found your next husband yet? Because Ronnie is about to be out of here and we need to work on the next victim. All right, so we are making our rounds, seeing if we have any potential victims at this bar. I don't think... Girl, what's going on over here? Um, okay. <laughs> Let me mind my business. Like I was saying, Sai is not really vibing with the people in this bar like that. So I don't think our next potential victim is here. 
not Rodney getting a little jealous that Saya was talking to another man. He had to put a stamp on his territory. Y'all, what are they doing? I think it's about time for us to go because it's getting weird. Um, hello? Yeah, it's after hours. It's freak hours. It's time for us to go. I think we got enough information at this bar, so we are going to head back to our little villa. All right, y'all. We have made it back to the villa. Saya is not too happy. She's on her period. She's moody. And she's very, very pissed off that she has to go to the jungle tomorrow. So she's not in the best of mood. Rodney, where are you? This man outside relaxing. He is prepared for his little trip to the jungle tomorrow. Look at him. Saya, what you doing? She in here trying to calm herself down. Poor thing. Poor thing. I can't believe Rodney dragged me all the way out here into the jungle. Do I look like I belong in the jungle? Is he out of his mind? I have half a mind to push him off a cliff or something. Because I told this man I wanted to go somewhere sunny and nice. And look at where he takes me. Child, Saya is really going through it. I know that we all love Rodney because he's so sweet, but I don't think Saya is too happy with him right now. <laughs> so y'all already know, after this whole little jungle trip, I don't think Rodney's gonna be alive for too much longer. So it is getting late. I'm gonna end up sending these two to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow when we explore the jungle. Look at her trying to calm herself down. That's right, girl, breathe in and breathe out. All right, y'all, our girl Saya is up. She's actually really, really, Saya. Saya, don't play this game with me, girl. Do not do it. We don't even have the option to take a pregnancy test, so maybe she did that because she's on her period. Anyways, our girl Saya is up. She's about to go take a little bubble bath. Um, when she's done, I'm going to have her go ahead, eat some breakfast, and then we can prepare to get ready for the jungle. Ronnie is still knocked out. He's also hungry as well. Why is he still sleeping? His energy is full. Boy, if you don't get up. <laughs> Maybe he can sit here and watch a little bit of TV. I'm going to have him watch a movie. And then when Saya is done, she can make breakfast for the both of them. Before they decide to head out. Now he decided to watch Wreck-It Ralph. Rodney, please. <laughs> please. All right, y'all. Saya is all done. Look at her little outfit. She looks so cute. I know she's not too thrilled about going to the jungle, but her putting together this little number. I love it. All right, Saya. What you about to cook? Not you about to cook mac and cheese. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Cook an actual breakfast for real. Stop playing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make some crepes with berries. So Rodney can eat too. And I know Saya is thinking this morning, child, I should poison this man's crepes so I don't have to go to the jungle. <laughs> but girl, we have to have a dinner party first before we off that man. So y'all, I was thinking, right? Instead of having an actual dinner party, because remember, Saya is trying to keep her relationships a secret. Ooh. I was thinking after we go to the jungle, instead of having a dinner party, we can have Rodney and Saya go out to dinner here in Selva Dorada. <laughs> Child, did she just drop the crepe on the floor and put it back in the pot? Saya, what is going on with your cooking skill? Anyways, I was thinking they can go out to dinner tonight in Selva Dorada. And maybe Saya can find someone at the restaurant to flirt with. Maybe even the waiter. Who knows? So remember, she has to get caught flirting with someone else by Rodney. Child, she do not care about Rodney. She keep dropping the food on the floor and putting it back in the pot. I can't. I can't. <laughs> The crepes look good, though. All right, let's go ahead and call Tamil. It's the way she is cooking level eight and doing all that. Dropping food on the floor. What? That made no sense. Let's go ahead and eat before we pass out. 
I don't know if this is too heavy because we are going to the jungle, but whatever. <laughs> Rodney's still in his role. How you feeling today, Rodney? We are finally going to the jungle like you wanted, sir. <laughs> oh. I'm weak. <laughs> I'm so weak. Because why would she do that with him sitting right there? All right, let's go ahead and uh, put these away. Look at how cute they are. Ronnie is probably feeling real appreciative that Saya is actually going to the jungle with him. Little do he know, she is just pretending right now. So now that they have both finished their breakfast, I'm going to have them go ahead and get ready to go to the jungle. Saya is still trying to flirt her way out of this trip. Saya, it's a done deal. We're going. <laughs> I'm gonna have Rodney come up here and change his outfit and put on some jungle attire because he is still in his role. Hurry up, we gotta go. All right, he is all dressed. We can go ahead and get ready to head to the jungle. All right, y'all, we have made it to the jungle. Saya, are you ready, girl? She feeling confident, so I don't know. Um, let's come over here and read poison awareness posting. Yeah, actually, let's come do that because if we go up in this jungle and get poisoned, it's going to be a problem. Well, let's see what this sign say. And why is she so hairy? Who this lady? She going in the jungle too? Why you dress like this? <laughs> All right, so it says caution in cases of poisoning, please consult with local Sims for antidotes. Excuse me, what do you mean poisoning? The locals did not tell us anything about poison. The only thing they told us was to carry a machete. And I believe we have one, let's see. Yes, we have a jungle machete. I wonder does Rodney have one too? Why he don't have one? <laughs> Rodney, you plan this trip and don't have a machete? I guess he gave it to Saya because he wanted her to feel protected. All right. Rodney, what you doing? He over here doing push-ups, gearing himself up to go through the jungle. Um, Since Saya has the machete, I'm going to have her go ahead and look at her. She's doing push-ups too. <laughs> She's like, maybe this will give me the confidence boost I need. Let's go ahead and clear path with Machete. I don't know why this lady's still standing here. All right, Saya, let's go ahead and get to work. Because that man behind you do not have a Machete. So I don't know how he thought we was getting in this jungle. Why this lady talking to us? Can you? Ooh, what's wrong with child i'm already creeped out already creeped out saya wait hold on she went inside what's happening oh my god okay so it says suddenly sloths as saya rounds the corner there is a stillness in the air she looks up and notices a bed of sloths watching her saya is distracted for a moment and walks into a low-hanging branch releasing a small band of fiery flies Scorching their fur in spots, what should Saya do? Um, excuse me? Oh no, we just gonna let nature be. We're not distracting flies with a dance. Are you crazy? Saya would never do that. So it says the flies and the sloths. Saya decides to leave the flies and the sloths alone. She slinks away, hoping the sloths will be able to fight off the flies without suffering too much. That is very spot on for Saya. As the animals blend back into the canopy, Saya hears the plaintive wail of a sloth who may have gotten more than it can handle and feels a tinge of regret. Girl, stop it. You know you don't regret that decision at all. Meanwhile, Rodney is just sitting here chilling. Why you didn't go into the jungle with her? <laughs> And this weird old lady over here stargazing by the freaking dirty bathroom. Let's see, where you at, Saya? Saya's all the way inside. Rodney, if you don't make your way in here, he over here digging in piles of dirt. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm so confused. And this lady coming over here to talk to us. Mm -mm, I don't think so. 
Rodney, I'm going to have you come over here and travel through and meet Saya on the other side because you did not have her going there by herself. Let's go. <laughs> All right, perfect. They are both on the opposite side together. Saya's like, finally, you decided to join me. <laughs> Ronnie's over here like, girl, looking at you with that machete. That really, really made me excited. <laughs> He's like, Saya, see, this ain't so bad. You real tough. And I love that about you. Saya's like, oh, I love when you talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay not these two feeling flirty we gotta keep it moving gotta keep it moving so there is another part we have to dig through is this it no it says clear path with hands the path is sealed shut and cannot be opened on this trip so where are we supposed to go let me see y'all ain't gonna lie this is so pretty we need to take a picture somewhere All right, so I think this is the path. I'm gonna have them come over here together. And before we dig through, I think we should take a picture by the waterfall or something, cause that is so pretty. Oh, is that a snake? Oh no, I know you lying to me. All right, perfect. We have made it up here. Y'all look at how pretty this is, stop. Saya, you have to admit, this is very pretty. <laughs> DeAndre is calling us, y'all. Hey, Saya, it's me, DeAndre. Do you want to go out on a date? Oh, my God. I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, no. But we told him we was on vacation, right? We have one more day here. So we're going to just tell him that, you know, when we return, we can definitely go out to eat together. And hopefully he won't be mad. All right, Saya, I want you to take a picture with Rodney because we're going to need the memory for when we off him. We didn't have a picture with Kai. We only have a picture with Ian. So we need to take a photo with Rodney. Child, I hate that they turned this way instead of the other way, but whatever. I'll take it. All right, let's change the filter on this. Let's get a cute pose. That's cute. That's real cute. Let's see, what else can we do? I like this one. Saya, not your hair in his face. I love, how freaking cute is this pose? What? Yes. That's so cute. Ciao, I'm gonna feel so bad when we get rid of this man. <laughs> Aww. All right, so we got our photos. Now it's time for us to go into this part of the jungle. Can we actually give Rodney the machete? Yeah, we can. All right, perfect. I'm going to have him clear path with machete because that was a little scary with them sloths. Why is she jogging around? <laughs> what you doing? Why you playing in the rain? <laughs> She's like, thank God Rodney got the machete because I was not trying to do that again. Mm -mm. It's her just sitting here deciding to stargaze. We got to shave these legs. Girl, what? All right, what's happening? He went inside. Oh, hopefully he don't get poisoned when he go in there. Sorry, it's like, yeah, I'm going to let you handle that. I'm going to just sit here in the rain and stargaze a little bit. All right, so it says abandoned pack. Rodney stumbles upon what appears to be an abandoned campsite. Clearly, a previous adventurer has been through here as there's the remains of a small fire and an old tattered knapsack. There might still be something valuable inside or something dangerous. Should Rodney investigate? I feel like Rodney would investigate because his whole curious nature and adventurous nature is what brought us out here. So I'm going to have him search for useful gear and see what happens it says what's in the bag rodney takes a quick look at the pack and decides it's pretty safe as he opens the pack a poisonous scorpion crawls out and stings him on the arm <gasps> rodney is poisoned and in a lot of pain oh my god 
<gasps> oh, Rodney, why did I do that to you? I'm so sorry. Yeah, maybe Saya should have been the one to go in this part because she definitely wouldn't have looked in the bag. I'm so sorry, Rodney. I'm <laughs> so sorry about it. All right, Saya, we got to get up and see what's going on. Oh, <laughs> no. Girl, come travel through. This man is poisoned. No, 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 no. Now she kissing him after he got poisoned? What? Hold on. Let's see. Did he get a buff from that? It says feeling icky. Something isn't right. The icky feeling could either go away on its own or get worse. Only time will tell. Maybe acquiring an antidote would be safest. Ciao. We don't have to off Rodney. He going off himself doing stuff like this. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and find the next place we got to dig through. So there's two places over here. There's this side and then there's also this side. Is there another side? I think that might be it. Child, I don't know where to go. No, there's another side over here. All right, Rodney, where you at? I know you poisoned and all, but like, you gotta dig through one of these. Do we pick door one, door two, or door three? Child, we picking door two. Let's go ahead and clear path with Machete. Y'all wanna stay here and flirt. We gotta hurry up and finish this adventure so we can get the heck up out of this jungle. Fire, why you over there talking to yourself? If you don't come follow this man, <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? Stop. Saya seems to have unexpected visits. Oh my God. Girl, where you get that insect repellent from? Oh my God. The poor girl. About to vomit because of the spiders. All right. Let's go over here and see what Rodney is doing. This is stressing me out so bad. I don't know why I did this. Yes, let's go and see how Rodney is doing with this machete. Oh, this lady! Who is this? She scared me! <laughs> Alright, so it looks like he made it through. Hopefully, he don't get poisoned by nothing else. And child, I'm kind of creeped out because where this lady come from? Can we already... Yeah, we can travel through. Let's go. We can't go? We gotta wait until this little message pops up? I guess. I hope this lady stay over there and don't come over here. Because why is she just hanging out in the jungle? Rodney is foraging through the jungle when he almost trips over a large strange looking egg just lying on the jungle floor. Who knows what kind of creature is inside what should Rodney do? Child, me personally, I would leave that damn egg alone. <laughs> but what do y'all think? Would Rodney examine the egg even after being poisoned? Child, we gonna leave that egg alone. I'm sorry. As Rodney leaves the egg behind, he noticed some rustling in the shrubs nearby. A giant creature lunges. What's happening in this jungle? A giant creature lunges its head out, spewing fire at Rodney. He runs to safety and narrowly avoids getting singed. Goodbye. We need to get out of here. Like, seriously. Seriously. Saya, go ahead and travel through and meet Rodney on the other side. Because we need to tell him we need to get the heck up out of this jungle. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Rodney, how are you doing? He's still sitting here with a smile on his face. Do we gotta go somewhere else? Child, they got alligators. Stop playing. We gotta go. Seriously. Rodney's like, Saya, how you enjoying the jungle? And Saya is like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm ready to go because I done seen a snake, an alligator, and I'm a little scared for my life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Rodney's like, well, you know, there's a couple of other parts of the jungle we didn't explore yet. So, you know, we're almost done. I have something I want to show you. Saya's like, Rodney, I don't know about this. So far, like, you got poison. You almost got singed by fire. Like, what are we really doing? Rodney's like, trust me, Saya. What I have to show you is going to be really, really beautiful. And she's like, all right, I guess. <laughs> All right, y'all. So there is two more doors that we did not go through. So 
we went through door number two. Where is the other one? Here is the other one. So I'm going to let Rodney come over here and cut through this with the machete. And hopefully whatever he's trying to show us is behind this door because I am getting stressed out. <laughs> Saya, come over here. And watch your man clear through this path with this machete. And we got to use the bathroom, bro. Is there nowhere to use the bathroom out here? All right, so he's going through. Child, hopefully nothing happens to the man up in here. Because Saya is supposed to off him. He's not supposed to off himself. So it says, travel to the Amiskin Royal Baths. So I think this is what Rodney was trying to show Saya. I'm so happy he found it because, girl, I could not take going through that third door. <laughs> So it says the next stop along the path appears to be a natural pool. It might be the Amiskin Royal Baths. Would you like to travel there now? So yes, let's go. And we are taking Saya. All right, we have made it to the other side and look at it. Ronnie's like, this is what I've been wanting to show you, Saya. She's making me so nervous with these diapers and rattles over her head. I cannot take it. <laughs> Saya's like, I guess this is cute. <laughs> Saya, do you like it? Aww. See, Ronnie's real romantic. Child, y'all know Saya don't care. She don't care not one bit. So I'm going to have them come in here and basically backflow and relax and have a good old time. And I know Saya's probably not too happy that it's raining, but I think that makes it all the more romantic. I think it's cute. See, Saya, this is not so bad. Look at them relaxing in the water. They're so cute. Ronnie is so cute for this. I feel so terrible. Who's calling us? So this is going to sound crazy. I know. <laughs> if Zadie call us one more time to tell us she has a crush on us, we're going to have to cut ties. Because what? She's not respecting our wishes. We said that we are just going to be friends. Stop. What is this? All right. Can we like flirt with Rodney a little bit and let him know that we do appreciate this little excursion he took us on, even though we have been seeming unappreciative this whole trip. Let's go ahead and flirt with him. We going to splash him. Let's be a little playful. We could slow dance in the pool. Let's go ahead and do that. Jarvis, why are you call why is everybody calling us? <laughs> hey, Saya, I've been thinking about getting to know. Yes, go for it. It's like every time we're out on a date, the whole world want to call us. Let's go ahead and talk about fantasies because the conversation is getting a little spicy. Where are they going? I'm confused. Oh. Child, what? Huh? They just... Okay. They just gonna woohoo right there. All right. I'll let them have that. <laughs> All right. These two are finished. I have no idea where they're going. Getting in line. Oh, they gotta get in line for the bathroom? Yeah, because Saya gotta go real bad. Let's go ahead and go to the bathroom. Child, where is the bathroom? Don't tell me it's all the way outside of the forest. This is crazy. <laughs> I can't. Ronnie, are you coming? He just chilling here. Well, we got to go to the bathroom, so I don't know what you about to do, sir. It be in your best interest to come to the front. Look at the snake. Oh, my God. Despite all the stuff that Ronnie had to go through up in this forest, <laughs> it was kind of cute. I actually really loved it and enjoyed it. I don't know how Saya feels about it, but it was kind of romantic. It's the way we had to go all the way out of the jungle to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I can't. Ronnie, I'm going to have you come over here. Y'all, look at the freaking bugs in the bathroom. So disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. Ronnie, did you ever make it to the front? He's still trying to make his way through the jungle. All right, there he is. Oh, Saya. <laughs> it's like these damn bugs. <laughs> 
All right, I think we had a successful little jungle excursion. Now it's time for us to go back to the resort and get ready for dinner. All right, y'all, we made it back to the villa. Um, I'm going to have them take care of their needs before we decide to go out for dinner. So I'm going to have them both actually take showers. I'm not going to have them eat. Y'all, DeAndre's calling. Have you ever heard of the tale of the tragic clown? I thought not. It's not a story the sim gurus would tell you. Child, what you talking about? <laughs> he want to be with Saya so bad. All right. Saya, we need to go and take a shower. Let's come over here and uh, take a quick shower. And then we need to get ready. Child, he finished his shower already. That was fast. <laughs> we need to get ready for dinner. Ronnie, you're not wearing this. You're going to wear something else. Go ahead and put this on. And then, Saya, let's go ahead and get ready. Saya, turn around. Let's look at you. Look at how cute she looks. Y'all, this is going to be our last dinner with Rodney. I'm so sad about it. <laughs> Hopefully, he don't show his behind at this dinner because y'all know how our husbands get when we start flirting with other people. So let's go ahead and travel. We're taking Rodney and we're going to head out to a restaurant. All right, y'all. We have made it to the restaurant. Child, Rodney cannot keep his hands off Saya. At all. <laughs> Girl, where are you going? No, you're not about to eat no yogurt. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> so this is where we're going to be eating. It's a nice little cute restaurant in the middle of the jungle. Let's come in here and request a table. Ronnie, I'm actually going to have you do it. Let's request table. Saya, you are so determined to eat yogurt. I don't know why. We are at a restaurant, girl. Saya's like, I hope the food here is good because I'm starving. All right, let's see where they're seating us. Hopefully it's somewhere nice. This restaurant is cute. Okay. It's very nice and intimate. It would have been nice if we could have sat outside, but it is raining. So, I mean, I guess we'll take the little booth. I'm going to have Ronnie go ahead and order for the table. Oh, girl. Ciao. Saya just know how to embarrass me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to have Ronnie do a root beer. Saya, you can do a sparkling apple juice. Ronnie's going to have a smoky barbecue pulled pork burger. And then for Saya, y'all know she's our bougie little princess. So I don't know what to get her on this menu. I feel like the bougiest thing on this menu is probably the seafood boil. But y'all know Saya don't like to get dirty like that. She's not about to be digging in the seafood boil with her hands and getting her fingernails dirty. So I feel like she would go for the big salmon. Let's keep it simple. And let's go ahead and talk to Rodney in his last moments of living. So sad. Let's go ahead and have a deep conversation with him. All right, the waiter is here. Now it's time to get to business. Can we actually do a... Friendly introduction to the waiter. Ronnie's like, why are you talking to this man? He just took our order. Like, let him go and wait for our food. <laughs> so he's like, I'm just trying to get to know new people, you know? Let's discuss interests with him. Ronnie's like, I don't really see the point in trying to get to know other people. We're on our honeymoon. So he's like, Rodney, just calm down. Can we ask... Him if he's single, I don't even know his name. His name is Nicholas. Let's see what he says. So Nicholas is single. And truthfully, I don't know if we're going to pursue Nicholas, but we just need to flirt with somebody in front of Rodney. Who is this? Oh, he on a date, I think. No, is he by himself? Can we call him over? Oh, he might be on a date. Yeah, he on a date. <laughs> Let's just go for it let's flirt with him a little bit just a little friendly flirting and be like hey i like i like this little white hair you got going on let's see if rodney gets upset it don't look like he reacting at all what hold on let's let, let's try again let's try again rodney is like so unfazed by it oh 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it starting to get to him? Rodney, you're not giving me nothing. <laughs> don't tell me you one of those naive men that be like, you know, she don't mean no harm by it. Child, give me something. Let's compliment his appearance. He's making it so hard for me to want to off him. Let's confess attraction. Who is walking up in here with no shirt on? <gasps> oh my God. He's naked. He's naked. <laughs> Yo, Ronnie done grabbed his food and decided to dip off. Is this your way of telling me you're pissed off? Inquiring minds would love to know. He down here by the bar eating. Why is people in this restaurant naked? I'm not getting it. All right, he's heading back upstairs. I don't know what's going on with Ronnie. It looked like he gotta use the bathroom. Child, I'm gonna cheat this need up. Let me see, did that do anything to our romance bar? Saya finished her food already. We just got here. <laughs> Let me see. That didn't do anything to the romance bar. He really is not phased by Saya flirting with another man, which is crazy because then that makes it 10 times harder for me to get rid of him. Child, is that Lily? It is Lily. She with her husband and I don't understand why he's naked. I really don't. Hold on, Mr. Wait a Man, before you go. Let's exchange numbers. That really rattled Kai when we did it with Rodney. Is that going to rattle Rodney? Bro, nothing. <laughs> I wonder, do he have any jealousy buffs? I'm so curious. He don't have nothing. I cannot believe that Rodney is not reacting to this. Look at him. He got a thumbs down, but like, I can't tell by the look on his face if he's upset or not. Child, truthfully, if Lily husband was not sitting over there naked, I would have Saya go over there and flirt with that man. Y'all, I don't know. Rodney is so unfazed by Saya's flirting. Maybe he's just not the jealous type. And truthfully, this would have been ideal, right? Like, Saya having a boyfriend who is not jealous, so she can go ahead and do whatever she wants to do and him not get rattled by it. But unfortunately, we already have that. We have DeAndre, so... Oh, this is so hard, but we got to do it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and end meal and pay for bill. And then we can go ahead and head back to the villa. All right, y'all, we have made it back home. And child, look at one of Saya's thoughts. She wants to flirt with... Who is this? Yulan? Is that the man... I think that's the bartender that was at the bar the other day when we went to talk to the locals. What are y'all watching? Child, they watch a scary movie. I can't. Let's take a good look at Rodney. This makes me so sad, but this is going to be the last time we see him, unfortunately. I'm not going to lie. This is about the healthiest relationship Saya has been in next to DeAndre. So this is really going to hurt me real bad. <laughs> But unfortunately, we got to get out of that mind frame and get more into Saya's mind frame. Sis don't have a care in the world. She's still going to carry out this plan to get rid of Rodney tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> All right, y'all. Saya and Rodney both are getting a little bit sleepy. I'm going to go ahead and send them to bed and we can reconvene tomorrow. So, Saya, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Rodney, I'm going to send you to bed as well. And I will see you guys the next sim day. It says Rodney wasn't able to fight off the poisoning and it has progressed and gotten worse. Might want to do something about that soon. <laughs> Child, maybe we should just put him out of his misery because what? We were supposed to find an antidote and we didn't do that. But truthfully, I really feel like it was no point of us doing that. <laughs> Poor Rodney, he's suffering right now. And we just about to like make it worse. I feel terrible. It says poison. Poison is coursing through Rodney's veins. Better finds an antidote quickly. Surely someone from Salvadorada knows where he can get one. 
maybe search online. Child, we not doing all that. We just gonna put this poor man out of his misery. All right, y'all, Saya is up early. It is 4.55 in the morning. Our girl is actually hungry and she has to use the bathroom. So I'm gonna have her first go and use the bathroom. So Saya, come in here and let's go pee like a champion. And then we have a mission to complete this morning. We only have one more day here in Salvadorada and we don't wanna do what we're supposed to do back at home. Cause we're sick of cleaning up bodies in our apartment. Y'all already know what's about to happen and I feel so terrible, but it has to be done. All right, after we wash his hands, we gotta go downstairs and eat. Lucky for us, we already made some crepes yesterday. So when we do what we are about to do, Rodney shouldn't suspect a thing. So, Saya, I'm going to have you come down here and let's grab a serving. We're going to eat first. And then Rodney's going to have to eat after us. Let's go ahead and hurry up and eat. Let's try to do all of this before he wakes up. Let me see how Rodney's doing. Is he up already? No, he's still sleeping. But he has to use the bathroom. Child, I don't know why he sleeps all the way through his bar. Like, I'm not understanding. He is a little hungry, but the poor man is feeling dazed because he got this poison running through his veins. I'm going to have him come over here and use the bathroom. Oh, y'all hear him? Child, now he burping. Let's go ahead and clean this up. And then we got to make this quick. Let's hurry up. Let's open this. Let's place this into the world. Saya, you're not moving quick enough for me, girl. <laughs> you gotta hurry up before he come down here. Let me see what he's doing. He's still on the toilet. Saya, go put the crepes out. Quick. <laughs> All right, perfect. Wait, where are you putting them? Thank you. Now, let's go ahead and poison this food. Oh, Lord. My heart, y'all. My heart. I feel so terrible. <laughs> what is Rodney doing? He about to come downstairs and grab the crepes? Oh, my God. I didn't even have to tell him to come eat. He about to go do it on his own. <gasps> Saya, let's steady sit here. We finna act like we ain't do nothing to these crepes. And he not going to suspect anything because he ate these crepes yesterday. <laughs> he not going to think anything is wrong with them. Look at him. And Saya done turned on Chucky. She don't have not one care in the world. <laughs> Saya, let's go ahead and talk to Rodney. Let's go ahead and pretend to care. He done finished them crepes, y'all. Oh, my God. I'm so scared. <laughs> so scared. Oh. <gasps> I was feeling off today, but you definitely turned me on. Saya, you are out of line because you know you just poisoned this man's food and you're going to ask him to woohoo? <laughs> Is she crazy? She's crazy. She's really crazy. I'm going to say not right now and ask later because Ronnie's not feeling the best. And I feel like he would say that right now because he got that poison running through his veins. So, Saya, I'm sorry. He's going to have to deny you. Girl, not you asked him to woohoo. She is a different kind of sick. Y'all, Rodney has finished his food. Now it's just a waiting game to see when he passes away. Because uh, I don't think the poison works immediately. I think it takes some time. So we just gonna have to sit here and wait for it to happen. <laughs> and Sai is just sitting here casually watching the weather like nothing happened. Rodney, how you feeling? Y'all, he don't look too good. He even starting to look a little pale. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> How long do we have? We got 30 minutes? Oh my God, my heart is racing. My heart is racing. Saya, go ahead and flirt with this man for all time's sake. Look at him. He about to throw up. <gasps> oh, he just vomited. Okay, maybe we shouldn't flirt with him. Maybe we should just stay over here. <laughs> go ahead, steady sit over here. I think we need to stay away for now. Rodney, it's been fun, love. It has been fun. Oh. But it's time for us to move on. <gasps> and look at Saya just sitting here grinning. She know exactly what she did. 
and she literally don't care. And Rodney in the back, like, let me do a little bit of push-ups. Maybe this will make me feel better. Oh my God. Oh my God. Child, he just keep vomiting. When is this going to pass so we can get the heck up out of here? <laughs> Oh my god it's happening it's happening oh <gasps> rodney no <laughs> rodney no <sighs> oh. r.i.p my friend r.i.p although we fell to the end of the road still i can't let go it's unnatural Ooh. Ooh. all right let me be serious for one second in my life <laughs> Oh, victim number three down, seven more to go. And Saya literally has no reaction to what just happened. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely a long one. Rodney will surely be missed. Let's have a moment of silence for Rodney. All right, moment of silence is done. Now it's on to the next one. We don't have our next victim lined up already, so I'm thinking next episode we can do some speed dating and hopefully maybe we can find our next victim that way. Maybe we can link up with our single friends and do some speed dating together. We'll make a fun day out of it. We also got to spend some time with DeAndre because the man was calling us while we were on vacation. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. All right, let's go ahead and pick up this urn. Let's put this in our inventory. And then we can head back home.